the charge had he moved. But going back to what you're saying about Beheim, man, he's just a high IQ player as well. And maybe that's what's played him into the starting rotation. Tyler Hall to Bradley. Hall cuts again, lays it in. Beautiful ball movement all the way through, and Tyler Hall has 11. I didn't, know, I didn't take you one for, for a ballet. Hey, we're, you're, both of us are girl dads Expert. now, so yeah, you, know, it, you know, it's, pirouette is going to be in your repertoire. Sure, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but it was enough to give the foul to Roden, his second. They go right back to him. Here's Bradley backing down Johnson. When does the help come? It doesn't, and the floater is good. There's a matchup again, Terrell on Jackson. Sure, Justin Jackson will see plenty of Terrell as the night goes on. He's able to work around the switch. Got the look that he wanted and knocks down another triple. Turnovers turning into points here for the Crews. Defense to offense. Same thing the other way. There's Alex Fudge. That just takes advantage all the way to the rim. Bradley sizing up and he's fouled. Is that continuation? Yes, it is. And one. That's an and one for Tony Bradley off the fadeaway. That's what I kept asking, man. This is a guy that's going to take this challenge personally from a guy like Tark. Tark has been all over Tony Bradley, being a pest, but at 6'11". Final 60 of the third quarter. Bradley wants to turn, wants to fade away, and the hook shot falls. Straight from the elbow.